So often as entrepreneurs, we get so stuck in the day-to-day -day of building our businesses that we end up losing our motivation, our inspiration and creativity. So in this video, I want to teach you my strategy for getting back in the flow with it all so that this doesn't hold you back. Hey, it's Carrie here, founder of the Female Entrepreneur Association and author of the international best-selling book, She Means Business. Okay, so us entrepreneurs absolutely need to give ourselves the space to tune in with ourselves, to relax, to get into our zone of genius where we can be creative, where we can come up with ideas and just really get back in the flow of building our businesses. But this is so hard for us to actually do. I don't know about you, but I know for me, I am so busy and it's so easy to get caught up in the weeds of building a business. You're just doing it, doing it, doing it, as Michael Kerber says in the e-myth. And you get stuck in the daily grind of building a business and you get to a point where you can't see the wood for the trees you feel stuck in it all and you don't know where you're going. This has happened to me so many times. The key is that we have to build in space to our time to give ourselves that, um, well, that the, sp the space literally, to get back in the flow with um, ourselves and to really tune in with our ability as creators, as entrepreneurs, to be able to move the business forward and come up with new and exciting things. So I wanna share with you my process for doing this and getting back in the flow and what I do to enable myself to create space. So, first things first, you need to plan this in. You have to plan in time to create space for yourself, otherwise you simply won't do it. So I want you to think about what you can do on a daily basis to create space in your day, just to tune in with yourself, to chill out, to, to um, get in the flow with ideas. So for example, could you take 10 minutes or even an hour to journal or to visualize or meditate or just to go on a walk and just tune in with yourself and check in with yourself and start thinking about stuff and reconnect? Could you spare that time? You, I know you could. And if you do make that time, I'm telling you, it is gonna be so powerful. It's gonna be time well spent, even though you might feel like, what am I doing right now? This is really unproductive. I'm not actually doing anything, but I promise you, you are doing something and it's incredibly powerful. So get clear on what you can do on a daily basis. And then also think about what you could do on a monthly basis. For example, could you take a day off a month? Could you take a Friday off once a month and that is your day out of your business to think about stuff working on your business or just to even just totally tune in with yourself, have a dreaming session, reconnect with your vision, where you're going, just take time to like really get back in the flow. Um, or even if it's on a weekend, a Saturday or a Sunday, or going away for the weekend, getting out in nature, it being surrounded in, or in an environment that allows you to actually relax and chill out and tune back in with yourself. So again, make a commitment of like what time every month in, on, in a larger capacity are you gonna spend giving yourself the space to just reconnect and tune back in. And then also think about it on an annual basis. So especially when you're planning out your year, make time to think about um, what space are you gonna create for yourself over the year to just really reconnect. So even if it's just a week, throughout the at some point in the year a week where you can really unwind so um and just like chill out and just really um get back in tune um over a longer period of time because when i do it over a longer period of time it makes such a difference um in the, where i can get to with myself in terms of being creative coming up with stuff and how i feel so first thing plan in the space um, to give yourself. So the second thing is once you've planned it out, have a think about what really helps you to unwind and relax and tune in with yourself the most. So for example, for me, I know that listening to relaxing music, so for me, it's actually stuff like music from the movies, like the soundtrack to, I don't know, like E.T. or, or even Finding Nemo, whatever it is, relaxing music that helps me to reconnect with myself and to really dream big and to um, and to start to visualize and to just tune back in with myself. Um, I also obviously love visualizing, I talk about it all the time. So just listening to that music and just allowing myself the space to 
to start wandering off in my imagination and to come up with ideas and to visualize, that is when I can get into my zone of genius and start getting back in the flow. So what helps you to get back in the flow? What helps you to feel reconnected? Maybe it's meditating, maybe it's journaling, but know what works for you so that you can focus on doing that when you do take the time to give yourself the space to do this stuff. And the third thing is to be patient with this because sometimes when we've been so hectic and so busy, it can be really challenging to actually get into that space where we are in the flow again. Um, and it takes a while. So for example, for me, if I go away, the first few days, I just can't switch off. I find it really difficult to relax. But maybe by day three or four, if I'm listening to music, if I'm chilling out, if I'm allowing myself that space, I know I will start to actually tune back in with myself and get in the flow, but it takes time. So be patient with yourself. Like if you don't feel, you know, in that place right away, it's completely normal. Um, but just make sure you get to that point where you feel like, you have reconnected with yourself, you are in the flow and you'll know when you are because you'll feel it. So for example, for me, I come up with all these ideas, like ideas start to flow to me. I start to just become a lot more creative and um, just feel excited and inspired again. So wait till you have that breakthrough moment where you truly are back in your zone of genius and being the creator that you are meant to be. So try these three things out to really help yourself to create the space that you want in your business so that you can really tune in with your own zone of genius to be creative and to help drive your business forward. You don't wanna be stuck in your business all the time. It doesn't work. Um, so to help you with this, definitely download the free worksheet that I've created for you to help you to have a, um, well, to help you to plan out the, um, the time to give yourself space. I promise you it will be really helpful. The link to download it for free is below, so check it out. And I will see you next week for another episode of She Means Business. Process. You could just stop before you get in. Okay. So often as entrepreneurs, 